Let's read through the example while highlighting important information and our goal. So Justin recently hired an, el an electrician to do some necessary work. The electrician gave a quote of $470 for parts plus $78 an hour for labor. And it says let X represent the number of labor hours worked. And I could see that this is going to be our goal because it's asking us to write an algebraic expression to represent the total cost for the repairs. Okay. So let's think about what parts here are varying and what parts are staying the same. So notice we're given two numbers, $470 for labor, no sorry, for parts, and that does not change. Okay, so no matter what, it's $470 for parts. And then we have $78 an hour for labor. Now notice the amount per hour isn't going to change, but this says X represents the number of labor hours work. So X equals number of hours worked. So even though it's always $78 an hour, depending on how long it takes the electrician to do the work, you could have to pay $178 for one hour of work, $278 for two hours of work, etc. So this part I would say is fixed, and this part here is variable, meaning it depends on how many hours worked, which we don't know. Okay, so now let's write this out in words. So the total cost is going to be parts plus labor. Okay. So you're going to have to pay the 470 for parts and then they'll add on whatever the labor charges is are. So the total cost for is we could think of is as equals. The parts are always $470. I'm just going to write 470 plus the labor. Well, we know that the labor is $78 an hour, but again, we don't know how many hours we work, how many hours he's going to work. So you could think if it was one hour, you'd pay one times 78. Two hours, you'd pay two times 78. Three hours, you'd pay three times 78. So for X hours, for some unknown amount of hours, you'd pay that number of hours times 78. Okay. And we typically write this as 78x. We like to write the number in front of the variable. So this isn't a step that you have to do, but this helps you make sense of the problem and how to set it up. So we have 470 for parts plus 78 times x for the labor. So that will be our total cost, 470 plus 78x. And now there's a second part, so let's look at this. If an electrician works for five hours, what will the total cost be? Or the total cost will be blank. So back up here we have the total cost equals, well, this expression. So now we're given that he's going to work five hours. Remember x represents the number of hours worked. So we're given that x equals 5, and we're asked to evaluate the total cost. So I'm going to copy the expression, but I'm going to replace x with 5 in parentheses. Now I'm going to let the calculator do this computation. So 470 plus 78, oops, back, 78 times 5, which gives us $860. So if the electrician works 5 hours, the total cost will be $860.